So if there are any lessons learned um, that I could share over our process, uh, the first thing I would say is that it was very iterative and there's certainly no manual out there that we could take a self-test before and after to see if we did everything right. And I'm sure that there are things that we didn't do right. Um, I also think that we are still willing to learn from peers and I think that that's part of what this district process should help us all to do is learn from our peers. The other thing that I thought a lot about was the fact that we used to be an incredibly poor organization. I turned around a struggling Article 28 DNCC. And so had DISRP come along seven or eight years ago and I was participating, that those resources that I was so uh, lucky to sort of reserve to use for infrastructure building, I wouldn't have had the same resources. Uh, with the district money. I would have had to use that for operations. And so I can put myself in the position of when I was a struggling uh, DNTC to say, what would I do now? If I suddenly got those resources and I had to use them to backfill some costs from operations, but now we're in year three, can I catch up? What can I do? How can I go forward? One of the things I would say is, First of all, look at your infrastructure and see what you need. And sort of start those conversations. Even if you can't use those resources now, start the conversations to think about what you need. The second thing would be to try to reserve a little bit of the um, district funds because we're paid in arrears. You'll be paid uh, in February and later next year for what's happening now. So. Maybe you can't reserve 100%, maybe you can reserve 50 maybe only 25%. But that's money that you can put towards your infrastructure building. And the final thing I would say is reach out and talk to other uh, peers, either across the state that do the same thing that you do, or within uh, MCC. And I would, I would uh, recommend SnapCap. Those members are fantastic in sharing their best practices and I think that they would provide a lot of helpful advice. But I don't feel that anybody should go into year three thinking all is lost. I think there's a lot of opportunity. It's not just the district dollars. Beyond that there's going to be incentives from payers. There's private funders who are interested in helping you to develop uh, the infrastructure you need to do well in, an, in a value-based payment model. And I would say to everyone, uh, particularly primary care, safety net, and behavioral health, there is a vested interest in ensuring that you're ready for value-based payment.